Want to know what sleeve types suit bigger arms? Stay tuned for today's video. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sarah and I am The Style Coach. If you are new to this channel, my channel is all about personal style and personal development. So if that's your thing, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Today's video has been requested by so many people. It's a topic that I think relates to many people out there. So I hope you find it useful. We're going to be talking about sleeve types to look for when you're going shopping, sleeves to avoid, fabrics that are suitable for your arms, and also sleeve lengths. So there's a lot of information in today's video, a lot of useful stuff. So maybe get a pen and paper, write down some notes, and let's get started. Before we dive in, there's just one thing that I want to address before we get into the practicality of choosing sleeves, and that is the language that you use around your body. So if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I'm a master practitioner of neuro-linguistic programming. That basically means that the language we use about ourselves and in with other people is really important and it can affect us dramatically. So I want you to think about the language you are using around your body shape today, and in particular your arms. So if you are calling your arms fat arms or flabby arms or bingo wings, these are all words that are not going to do your confidence any favors. So I want you to cut that out straight away. Your arms are your arms. They have their own unique shape. And the more you use the derogatory language around your body shape, the more your confidence is just going to plummet. So if you're here learning about your style, want to increase your confidence, your language is also really important. So think about the language you're using around your body. If you have bigger arms, if you have heavier arms, you just have more arms to hug people with. Try to reframe it. Okay, so with that in mind, let's get into the practicality of choosing the perfect sleeves for your arms. What I also want to add before we get stuck in, and you'll probably be familiar with my the way I think from my previous videos, is instead of focusing on things that you don't like your, about your body and covering things up, Think about where you can draw attention to that you do like. So it might be a great pair of shoes, it might be a great lipstick, it might be a beautiful necklace. Draw the attention to somewhere that you do like rather than thinking about, oh, I need to cover up this and that and the other. So try to make it into a positive rather than focusing on things that you are not so fond of about yourself. Let's first of all look at the types of sleeves that you should be looking out for when you go shopping. There is a huge range of sleeves out there that you can choose from that are going to flatter your body shape. Let's start with the kimono sleeve. The kimono is one of my favorite pieces. If you've been following me over on Instagram or on this channel, you'll know that I have a, a few kimonos and I love them, especially in summertime because you can get ones that are very light, they're airy, and the best thing, of course, the sleeve is nice and wide and they're usually quite a long sleeve, probably three quarter length, if not full length, which is a really flattering sleeve on anybody. So there's plenty of room in this. Kimonos do wonders for anybody who's conscious about different parts of their body because they have long lines in front, creating those vertical lines that we know that gives you length and makes you appear slimmer. The movement of the fabric is really flattering on the body. So the kimono is a great choice. Next up is the choir boy sleeve. This again has lots of room in it. This cuts off around the elbow or just above the elbow. So it's gonna cover that upper part of the arm, but yet give you plenty of room there. So if you are happy with the lower part of your arm, this is an option for you. The dolman sleeve is next up and this is a garment that is one piece of fabric and it's connected from the sleeve all the way through to the body of the top or the jumper, whatever it might be. So it gives lots of space under the arm. There's no definition around the upper arm area. So again, a great choice. 
If you are comfortable with your shoulders and not so much your arms, then you might consider a cold shoulder top. So this just exposes a little bit of the shoulders but keeps your arms covered. So it kind of gives that little bit of sexiness, I think and it still gives you that comfort and the coverage around your arms. Now we have the leg of lamb, leg of mutton, mutton sleeve, <laughs> anything to do with the sheep and the shape of its leg. We have these tops that have a lot of fabric gathered up around the upper part of the sleeve. So there's space there, there's room for your arm, and then it narrows down just as a leg of lamb would do. Now a little bit of a caveat here, if you are big busted, um, or you're top heavy, this may not be a great sleeve type for you. So it's always worth taking into consideration your overall shape. Um, and this is why an individual body shape consultation is so important because this advice is very general. If you want something bespoke for you, a 360 degree individual consultation around your body shape, get in touch with me. I do online consultations. Now you might also consider a bishop sleeve. So a bishop sleeve is quite a wide sleeve, but it's defined by its cuff around the wrist area. So it comes in quite narrow and that is a really flattering shape. So that's definitely one to be looking out for. You might also consider a flutter sleeve. So there's a lot of fabric in this again. Just take down a note of these names. These are the ones you want to be Googling when you are shopping online or in store, you'll be familiar with the shape. So that is the flutter sleeve. Another one you might look for is the fluted or bell sleeve. So this has a little bit of a retro feel about it, but it gives volume to the lower part of the sleeve this time. So yes, it will be fitted on the upper arm, but the fact that the volume is around the lower part of the arm around the wrist, it takes the attention away from the upper arm. So that might be a consideration for you. And of course, you might also want to be looking for a balloon shaped sleeve. So this has a lot of volume in it, similar to the other ones, and it will be tighter around the wrist area. So again, a very flattering look for somebody who's not so comfortable with their upper arms. Now, this is just as important as the previous information. What sleeve type should you avoid if you are uncomfortable with the upper part of your arm. So you want to avoid anything that's going to expose your arm. So you're talking about sleeveless or cap sleeves. There's some sleeves that will cut you off right on that part of your arm where you might be biggest. So anything that's elasticated around that part of the arm is not gonna be a good choice. Also your sleeve length that cuts off at the widest point is not gonna be a good choice. You wanna go below that point where your widest point is on your arm. Speaking of sleeve lengths, the most flattering sleeve length universally, really, if you're not too comfortable with your arm, is anything from the elbow down. So the elbow tends to be a slimmer part of the arm. Also, if you go to a three quarter length place of the arm, it reveals the slimmer part of the wrist. So that's going to be a great place to end your sleeve. When you're looking at fabrics, think about giving your arms room to breathe in your fabric. And by that, I mean choose voluminous sleeves. It might seem counterintuitive that you, the more fabric you add to an area that it will look bigger. But in fact, the more fabric you add to an area, your arms or indeed your legs will actually look slimmer. So keep this in mind when you're choosing your sleeves. When you have lots of loose fabric around your arms, your arms are going to appear slimmer. On the flip side of that, if you choose materials that cling to the body like jersey materials, those kind of t-shirt materials, they're going to pull across that widest part of your skin and it's not going to do you any favors in that area. So remember to choose fabrics that give your arm room to breathe and they will appear smaller. I hope you got lots of useful information out of that. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe to the channel and I will see you again next week.